hello everyone i hope you guys are doing good first off let me say a big thank you to you all uh for making the black love virtual concert a success a big win for ghana and god bless you all so today the main reason why i'm recording this is to have a little discussion about our industry and also some clarity on the incident that took place on the 10th of august i know you guys have heard a lot i normally don't do this but i think sometimes it's very necessary for the betterment of our industry and the ways forward um first off i would like to acknowledge the fact that we are a growing industry. We still have miles to get there. Um, I won't take away the fact that Ghanaian musicians are doing extremely well trying to put our nation on the map independently with no structures behind us. You know, So I take my hats off to myself and my colleagues for putting in the work. So the incident that happened at the Black Star Square was not uh, the first, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the last. But the ultimate goal is to try to minimize or, you know, possibly get rid of such situations in our industry, you know, to clear a certain perception that uh, we are creating in the minds of the people when our industry is mentioned. You know, it took a minute for the corporate world to open up to our industry because there was a perception that the word entertainment was all the industry was about and nothing more to it. I personally have been trying my best to clear that perception to be able to bridge, you know, the two worlds together, not to limit it to the corporate world but to every citizen to have some level of respect when they see entertainers or anything related to the industry. And that mainly starts with how we conduct ourselves. You know, we occupy spaces way bigger than us and therefore we have the responsibility to act right. You know, since we have a lot of influence and if I may say, a lot of power. We, um, and when I say we, I mean entertainers, are just like everyone else. You know, we are no different from you. Whoever is listening right now, we are just like you. But only difference is uh, the position that we occupy. On top of that, creative people are very sensitive by nature. We carry a lot of emotions and that comes along with paranoia. But that's not an excuse for how we act because uh, that is absolutely up to us. We are responsible for our actions. I've been in this industry for a minute and I hardly react to things. And that's not because I don't have anything to say. But I think we are in an industry where most of our media outlet is interested in traffic driven content. And that mostly has to be negative. You know, uh, Sadly, that's how the world operates. I don't blame the media because they are doing their job. And it comes with it so on the other hand i also think artists should you know also have control what they put out um and also be careful how they go about pr this brings me to the incident that happened on the 10th of august you know at the black star square between my manager and my brother stone boy for the first time in a long while my limit was pushed beyond um, just because of what happened um, i want to state this everyone has the right to be mad or angry but no one has the right to assault and this is where it brings me back to how we manage our emotions and reactions situations like what happened that led to uh, the unfortunate incident is not new i'm uh, not not to say that it's okay but i think my brother should notice and um that's if that's what actually happened i'm not here to talk about what happened that led to it if that's what they want to talk about they can talk about that as well my main reason you know for doing this or what got me upset was the fact that he chose to go physical uh, with the situation i don't think my brother came from wherever he came from to destroy my show we've had great relationship over the years and not because he is uh not necessarily because he's like the best person i've come across but i built a mechanism to be able to deal with people regardless how they react because uh there's always a bigger picture and if you want to confirm that you know watch everyone around me i mean my team you I mean you can take it from angel from black to duncan mensa uh even my wife you know these are people that i know from day one and it's not because they are like the perfect people but uh, everyone has flaws even myself you know um all i have to know is that one is not evil and as a leader you need to have a way to keep people together sometimes you have to be the coach and not necessarily be uh, one of the players there's been several incidents where i felt disrespected by organizers media personnel and my own colleagues sometimes you know but i always control my reaction due to the bigger picture and that doesn't make me soft or weak that actually is the strongest thing anyone could do. My brother has every right to be mad. You know, he could have chosen to insult Angelo, even myself, scream or just even move his car and go. And trust me, he knows I would definitely call him and even apologize. Not because I have to, but um, I never want bad blood and I think it's unnecessary. This time I didn't take that route because my brother went overboard. And to me, um, it's the highest level of disrespect no matter what happened. Because uh, I've been at his concert and he has no idea how I get there or what I go through to get on that stage because I understand the job and I know there is no way Stoneboy and his management would have ever want to disrespect me intentionally. So the long and short of the story is that yes, my brother did hit my manager and I'm here to confirm and condemn the act and let him know that I'm extremely disappointed knowing how he is with Angelo. 
On a lighter note, for those saying, how could Angelo allow Stone hit him and go free? Again, as I said, you can't control how people react, but you can control yours. And honestly, what do you people think would have been the situation if he retaliated? You know, you saying people will have changed your submission. Angelo saw Stone as his little brother getting out of control, and I'm proud he didn't touch him. To end this, I would want to use this incident to advise the up and coming to learn how to control your reaction. If you are in this for the long run, you will be provoked. A lot of situations will stir up emotions, uh, but you have to be strong. And to my brother, I would want to say that um, apology has been accepted. And I know that genuinely um, you have love for me. I have love for you. Um, sorry from this side if you felt treated unfairly at the event grounds. And I wish you all the best. Um, Thank you for coming as well. God bless you.